She wanted to go to school to learn some knowledge. However, at that time, women were not allowed to go to school like men. In spite of that, she didn't give up and tried her best to persuade her parents. Please! Going to school? No way! What a shameful idea! How can I let a girl go to school? Forget it! Dad! Oh, Mom! Please! Please let me go to school! I really want to go to school, Mom! Ying Tan, we know we both love you, but as Proverb says, please, women Mom. don't have rights to go to school. Give up, Yun Tai. I will help you to find the Mr. Right. No, Mom, but I have the right to learn knowledge. Please, Mom, please let me go to school. Do you have any good idea? Well, maybe I can pretend to be a boy so that I can go to school. Show me a word. Okay. Family letting their own daughter go to school, a girl should feel ashamed of having such an idea. Please let me go to school. I really want to go to school. I can pretend to be a boy, Dad. Good idea, honey. Please stop. Let me think for a while. All right, I agree. But you must promise me. You will not tell anyone you are a girl. Okay, thanks, my dear father. Oh, sweetheart. So at last, Ying Tai convinced her parents to let her go to school with her servant Ying Xi. Ying Tai had been in school for a few days, even though her parents were not there and she had no friends. She was also excited and felt great relief. One day, she went to fly a kite in the backyard of the school. Look, my cat is flying! Be quick! Let it fly higher! Be quick! Oh, Miss, do you hear the sound? Hey, it is made by my cat. My cat can sing. Wow! wow. Be quick! Wow! I didn't know there's a terminal kind in the world. Yes, it's so beautiful. At this time, Ma Wen Tai appeared. <laughs> yeah? It's... It's mine. Yours? From now on, it's mine. No way, you are so rude. Do you know who I am? I don't care who you are. Damn, I will make you know it. But, but, he's smart, he's a newcomer, so he doesn't know the world's here. Forgive him, I beg your mercy, please, and tell him. His <laughs> name, his name is Ma Wen Tai, comes from a very rich family in this world. Everyone 
notice that the teacher is afraid of him, so we'd better notice that he. What? No. Get my cat to that guy? No. That's impossible. No, 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 you get out of here as soon as possible. Please. Otherwise, I will tell the teacher. Tell the teacher for letting me cut your top. Help! Help! What are you doing? Who are you? Do you know who I am? Of course I know. I'm man. What do you think? Trying to bully a newcomer here, aren't you? Can you still be called a man? I think I should give you a good beating. What's happening? Teacher, I'm just joking with them. Joking? Yes. You're bullying them. Is that what the students should do? Now apologize to them and go away. If I catch you doing the same thing, you'll be kicked out. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a hand in time. No, not at all. May I have your name, please? Liang Shan. What about you? Zhu Ying Tai. It seems that I've seen you before. Hey, I have the same feeling, but I don't remember. You are so... Huh? What? No, nothing. If so, can we... Can we become brothers? Yes, I have the same idea. Well, I'll have a brother. From now on, nobody dares to bully me. From then on... Liang Shangbo and Zhu Yingtai became good friends, and they always hung out, studied together, and took good care of each other. Their friendship became deeper. Meanwhile, Ma Wencai was always looking for trouble. Fortunately, Zhu and Liang managed to get out of the trouble made by Ma every time. One day, as they were having a class, Yingtai was so fascinated by Shangbo that she couldn't help taking a glimpse of him. Let me ask you some questions. I will pick out some lines from famous rhymes and say whether you can recite them. Okay. What's the next line of? And Good, sit down. After class, they decided to go out together. It was already afternoon when they were walking, taking a walk by the lake, where there was a pavilion in the middle with beautiful scenery around. Look, so beautiful. Trees, beautiful grassland, big mountain, and the lake. The water is so clear. Nice weather. What a beautiful day. See? The sky is so blue, and gentle breeze is kissing our faces. I can even hear the birds singing softly. Yes. I feel like I'm totally removed from the stir of the outside. Yes. How I wish time would never stop. Why? Why do you want time to stop? Yes, it's just, uh, uh, well, you don't understand. Really? Strange. Well, if I couldn't understand, just keep it to yourself. Well, it's so good to know you. Me too. I can't be lucky to have a friend like you. Yes. Then, the weather changed suddenly and began to rain heavily. They, quick, they quickly ran to a big lotus tree and hid themselves under it. <laughs> 